Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pat Problems video. My name is Helena and I'm the Access and Outreach Manager for the Department of Materials here at the University of Oxford and today we're going to be taking a look at question number two from the 2013 Pat paper. So let's have a look at what the question is asking. So in this question here, we are given an expression for y in terms of x and v, which I've labelled equation one here. And we're also given an expression for u in terms of y and x, which I've labelled equation two. We're being asked to find an expression for x in terms of u and v. So we don't want any y terms in our expression for x. OK, so we're going to have to do a little bit of substitution and a little bit of algebraic manipulation to get the uh, final equation that we're looking for here for x equals. All right, so we want to eliminate y in these equations. And very nicely, equation number one is an expression for y. We are given a y equals root x times v. So if we are to substitute this into equation number two, we would get an equation for u, which looks something like root x v minus root x all squared. So now we've eliminated y. So now let's multiply out this bracket. So you might be able to do this all in one step. However, I'm going to write out the two brackets separately to make sure I don't miss any of the terms here. So if we multiply this out, we have x v here. We have a minus root x v times root x, a minus root x times root x v, and then a plus x at the end here. So let's gather the terms here. So we have an xv here, minus 2 root xv times root x, plus an x at the end here. Now we can simplify this a bit more. If you remember the rules, if we're multiplying two square roots, we can combine it all under 1. So we have x squared v here. When we can factorize this x squared outside of the square root sign, so we have x root v here. So this whole expression for u is xv minus 2x root v plus x here. OK, now we're being asked to find an expression for x. So let's factorize an x out of this right hand side. So we have u equals x into a bracket containing v minus 2 root v plus 1. And then if we divide 3 by this bracket here, we have an expression for x, which is u divided by v minus 2 root v plus 1. And that's a nice expression for x. And we could leave it like that. However, you might recognize this form for the expression on the bottom. And we can actually simplify this even further, which gives us an x is u divided by root v minus 1 all squared. There we go. So that is our expression for x without any y's in it. So just in terms of u and v. And that is the answer to our question here. So I hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.